Hey Michelle, so I'm making this video for you. So let me let me open up the Teleplay app and let's get started. So I think the best way to use PicPulse, which is inside Teleplay, is to, and by the way, PicPulse will be its own app pretty soon. I think the best way to use it for dog adoption is to, well, let me let me play around with it first. So I think the best way is to re remove the a background from a photo and then add it to one of the backgrounds here to kind of give it a more, um, lively lively look um obviously i think that obviously the dogs sell themselves but i think it's, you know anyways let me let me let me show you um so just to also to give context within about four weeks for android there's going to be custom animated cinematic text so you'll be able to say like the name of the dog in really cool animated text which gets attention and i think then is when you can it, it would make sense to add effects on top of it but for now i think the best way to use it on your end is to use the background removal feature so let's get started so let's go so anyways when you're at this interface just click on the gear icon make sure the pick pulse button is on make sure you enter the email address you use to purchase pick pulse and let's uh for now let's think of, of a cool background where the dog can be so what some of my favorite I mean, let me think. How about first we just get the dog in here? So background free, and then click on the dog. It's gonna remove the background. Okay, so here we got, here we got, okay. Okay, <laughs> obviously this, I don't like this particular background because it kind of looks like the dog is in heaven, which we don't want to happen, so. Let's uh, remove this and play. Let's decide on which background we want to use. So what if we do like a nice nature background? Oh, okay. I have some ideas. So like, let's say this dog is like very adventurous, like kind of to give some more personality to the dog, which obviously the dog can't say um, by his or herself. So let's go around, let's go to the nature category. Okay, I have some ideas already. Okay, so let's, let me wait a little for the thumbnails to load. And I, I know, I'm sorry, I know um, um, increasing the speed at which the thumbnails load, that's something I'm, I'm doing, uh, but there are other things I wanna get to first in Android. Anyways, let's do Mountain Lake. And by the way, each background category has video preview. So these are video backgrounds of nature. And then if you click on photo preview here, you'll get video backgrounds of, the, of nature as well. So what if we go here? Oh yeah, by the way, you can change the aspect ratio here. So you get the idea. Okay, let's just do, what if we do full? Okay, let's go to your, back to your foregrounds. And by the way, we're going to add, eventually PicPulse is going to have video background removal. So you'll be able to take a video of the dog and use the dog as a foreground effect that's animated, not just a still image. But anyways, let's see what we can come up with here. So, no, I don't really like this scene. It's kind of too, too gloomy. So what if we do something more uplifting? Oh, how about we just give me give me a sec. So something which came to me, I think a good idea is to simply place the dog in a background of just like a home. So the potential people who can adopt her or him, sorry, I don't know the gender, can already imagine the dog being at their house. So for now, let's let me play around with it. So you can do that by clicking on your backgrounds. And if you have a photo of a house, you can just, you know, do that. I don't have a photo of a house in here, but you get, you get, you get the idea. <coughs> OK, 
Okay, that should not happen. Give me a sec. Let's try it again. So obviously what you're seeing now is a bug which I'll get fixed this week. Does that happen with every... Okay, for some reason it's only without image. Um, let's see if there's anything in AI generated backgrounds <coughs> we can use. Oh, I have an idea. Okay, what if we just simply search for the word throne and we'll create a throne background. Okay. And sorry, I'm, just, I'm doing this off the cuff. Um, I, I feel off the cuff videos work better than um, videos which I plan out because they give better results. Anyways, let's do King Throne 2. Oh, okay. This may work, okay. I re let me remove the foreground. Let me resize a little. Oh, okay. Let me try it for another throne. Okay, because there are no video pre videos for a throne, I'm gonna go to photo preview. So I think... Ah. Okay. Let's try King Throne 1. Okay. And what if we, instead of the dog being on the throne, if the dog is... Okay, so let's pretend that the dog is kind of like a, a king. And now let's add another foreground effect on top of it. What if we do this one? Let's do, so you notice that the foreground effects, some of them have a different mega, they're the, these two are the same effect, but one of them is a lower megabyte file size. That's basically because I want this app to work for all Android devices and for low budget devices like this one, lower megabyte versions work better. Okay. Ah. Let me resize that curtain. Okay. And let's say you want some music. So let's do epic music. You can do. Oh, you have to download it first. Press play. Yeah, that's too much. What if we do brave? Hmm. I think this is too. What if we do just feel good music? What about dreams come true? Okay, let's try this, simple and sweet. Let's press, you have to hold the record button for a couple of seconds. <coughs> okay. 
Okay. Let me let me see what we can. Oh yeah. Something I wanted to show you. If you click on this button right here, make sure that the effect sound is on so that the audio which I'm saying isn't isn't audible in the final recording. So we're gonna go to gallery. Yeah, see, like I should have done that before I recorded, but you get the idea. So right now on Android, you can have two foreground effects at the same time. We're lifting that limit this week so you can have more foreground elements. Okay, so I think, um, let me see what else we can do. So I think, give me a sec. So I think, I think um, one way to use pick pulse uh, now that I've d done this video for you is, is to basically create, like, you know how um, sometimes dog shelters, or I mean animal shelters, they dress up the dogs and it looks really, really cute. So I think one way to use pick pulse is to make the dogs, like, add character to them by putting them in really fun or funny scenes. Um, so for this one, we had the dog on the throne, kind of like... The dog was a king and that the dog will be like your little um a good you know just adding some character to the dog which a dog can't say because dogs can't speak but um so another thing we can do for example if we search for throne again we can pretend that the dog is like an ice king or ice queen again i apologize if i don't know the gender so put a photo preview. Let's do Ice Throne 8. Okay, let's put our dog back. Oh, this may be even better. Okay. So it's kind of like, okay. Ah, let's, uh, let's remove that. Okay. So let's, uh, let's go to... Go to weather, and then we can add a blizzard effect. Wait for it to download. I see you can kind of see the a subtle snow effect going on. Kind of hard to see, but let, let's see what else we we can come up with. What about snow, kind of just a cartoony type snow? What about this one? Let's make the snow falling down, not up. And this, uh, this means a lot to me because our cat is adopted and if there's a way to, you know, increase visibility for animals which need adoption, you know, happy to help. about looping turbulent snow five oh i know we have a cool frost effect let me see give me a second so you can also search for like if you go here and search for snow. That may be an easier way to find foreground effect instead of doing it by category. It can take like 20 seconds to find what you're looking for. I mean, to, for it to load the search feature. Because there's some like frost and snow effects, which I definitely know there are, but I couldn't find them, but uh, let's see. What is this, ground snow eight? Yeah, not a big fan of this one. What about just snow? Okay. 
Kind of nice and simple. <clears throat> Let's see what else we can do. So what if we go to AI generated backgrounds? Let's go to photo preview. Again, because let's find like a cool nature scene. And by the way, if there's like a character that you're, or like um, overall, ah, if there's like a character you're going for or an overall scene, which you have thought of after seeing this video, just let me know and I'll add the effects or show you where the backgrounds are to make that type of video. So what if we do this simple scene, relaxing too? Oh, okay. And now what if we add... So with this one, what if we do like a nice birds or butterfly, something nature-y? So what if we go to Butterflies HD? Oh, this one. <laughs> That's so cool. What if we, um, what if we go to like a lot of butterflies? Colorful butterflies flying around. Okay, that may work. What if we do um, this one right here? But you get the idea. So what if we try... The birds may work. I already showed you the reveal category. Let's You can do like a Christmas scene if it's closer to Christmas. Uh, the love. Oh, like... Did I show you this one? I'm not sure. Like it's like, like, you know, how much love is waiting for you when you get this dog? Um, nature transitions can work, sparkle and particle effects. Oh yeah, by the way, what if we, you can just go for something simple like in light streaks, rainbows, Rainbow Sparkle Boca. Oh. And then you can see the dog right there. So there's a lot you can do with this. Um, I don't want to make this video too long, but bottom line, if, if there's, I hope this video can help get you started. And um, I'm here if there are any questions.